In summer 2017, some residents of Mumbai, India were stunned to see that a handful of local homeless dogs had turned a vivid color blue. Not quite believing their eyes, the townspeople then decided to get to the bottom of the mystery. And when they discovered the explanation for the dye jobs, the people were appalled. After all, the doggies' strange hues had awful implications for all living beings in the vicinity. Navi Mumbai, a new Mumbai, is a township in the city of Mumbai. It sits to the east of the Metropolitan Center on the Kasadi River, a particularly industrial waterway lined with hundreds of factories for the food processing, pharmaceutical, and engineering sectors. Nevertheless, the area has long attracted migration from the rest of India, thanks to its good reputation for low pollution and high living standards. However, in early August 2017, something peculiar occurred in the working neighborhood of Taloja that plunged Navi Mumbai's clean living reputation into disrepute. And it all began with a small group of stray dogs. You see, the vagrant mutts would often wade into the Kasadi to bathe, drink, or search for food. Dogs had apparently been doing this for as long as anyone could remember, so nobody batted an eyelid. But local people's heads did begin to turn when something very uncanny and worrying started to happen to some of the dogs. Indeed, the fur on five of the strays changed hues to rather eye-popping shades of blue. In fact, some observers compared the color to that of a children's favorite, the Smurfs. The situation was later brought to the wider public's attention by the Navi Mumbai Animal Protection Cell. Established in 2014, this local animal welfare activist organization is committed to protecting living beings in the city area. As a result, its members saw red when they witnessed the blue dogs of Taloja. The immediate problem was that no one was quite sure exactly what had caused the electric blue hues. As a consequence, there was no real way of telling what damage, if any, the crazy colorization was doing to the strays. So the Navi Mumbai Animal Protection Cell took it upon itself to carry out some sleuth work on the origin of the blue stain. The five blue dogs had all been spotted in the Kasadi River. So the Animal Action Group complained to the Maharashtra Pollution Control Board. It is this organization's job to implement environmental legislation for the western Indian state of Maharashtra, which incorporates Navi Mumbai. The animal advocates believed it was pollutants in the river that were dying the dogs. It was shocking to see how the dog's white fur had turned completely blue, Arati Chahan, the cell's leader, told Indian national English language newspaper, the Hindustan Times, in August 2017. We have spotted almost five such dogs here and have asked the Pollution Control Board to act against such industries. It is by no means the first time that pollution in India's rivers has caused concern. In 2015, for instance, a report by the Indian government discovered that more than half of all the country's rivers were polluted. The report concluded that fresh water was clean enough for humans to use for all purposes would soon be impossible to guarantee. Furthermore, in August 2016, exactly a year before the blue dogs appeared, fishermen on the Kasadi River grew concerned that the deteriorating quality of the waterway was affecting their catch. As a result, they gathered samples of water near an effluent treatment plant, which was used by 300 or so of the area's factories for testing. The fishermen were later dismayed when dangerously high levels of pollution, particularly chloride, were found in the samples. With all this in mind, the Maharashtra Pollution Control Board had no other option but to take the Navi Mumbai Animal Protection Cell's complaints seriously. Consequently, the environmental agency dispatched some of its officials to survey the affected area, and what they found were truly disturbing. Environmental officials said that a private company close to the treatment plant had been utilizing blue dye in the manufacturing process for its detergent projects. However, the board reported the business had also allowed excess dye to leak into the river rather than disposing of it properly. Consequently, the contaminated water had dyed the dog's fur. The Maharashtra Pollution Control Board sprang into immediate action. Jayavant Hajar, sub-regional officer for the organization, told the Hindustan Times, The area is already cordoned off to the public and is close proximity of the private company. However, five to six dogs entered the site looking for food and got the blue color on them. We have warned the company owners to ensure no animals can enter again and such an incident should not be repeated. Hajari added to the Maharashtra Pollution Control Board had also ordered the business in question to clean up the offending dye that had reportedly been discharged. We have given the company seven days to clear the pollutants from the site. If it's not removed, we will issue a notice, he said. 
Meanwhile, another official maintained that the unnamed company's actions were against the law. Anil Mohecker, regional officer, said, Allowing the discharge of dye into any water is illegal. We will take action against the polluters as they are destroying the environment. We have directed our sub-regional officer to investigate. However, the Navi Mumbai Animal Protection Cell fears the environmental body's actions are a case of too little, too late. Cell head Arati Chahan said, We have only spotted blue dogs so far. We do not know if birds, reptiles, or other creatures are affected, or if they've even died owing the dye discharge into the air. Indeed, records show that pollution in the Kasadi River has already had an adverse effect on the local human population. According to the Hindustan Times, the waterway is now 13 times over the safe limit for human consumption because of industrial waste. Unfortunately, this dreadful situation doesn't look set to change for the residents of Navi Mumbai anytime soon. Data compiled by the Mumbai-based non-government organization, the Watchdog Foundation, shows there are 977 factories in the Taloja area alone. They are involved in various industries such as food and creating chemicals and pharmaceuticals. However, the data suggested that what they all have in common is the awful effect they're wreaking on the Kasadi River. And although waste from some of the factories is treated at the nearby common effluent treatment plant, authorities reportedly found the facility to be inadequate, which of course came as no surprise to the river's fishermen. Yogesh Pagadi, a member of the fishing community who collected the samples of contaminated water, spoke to the Hindustan Times. After numerous complaints to the Maharashtra Pollution Control Board, only the stench at Kasadi has reduced, he said. However, the pollution levels continue to be extremely high. So, sadly, it seems that the dyed dogs were another stark reminder of humankind's damaging imprint on the planet. However, perhaps the stray's unforgettable bright blue appearances will be a good thing in the long run. After all, the colored canines could signal permanent change on the Kasadi River.